This is Acadia National Park. Almost 50,000 acres of rocky headlands, boreal forests, sandy beaches, and sloping mountains. And for the next few days, I'm here to see as much of it as I possibly can. A big part of the reason why I bought my van was to explore the multitude of national parks in the United States, especially since here in New England, where I live, we only have one. But ironically, I've still never been there, despite it being the closest national park to my home. So I've given myself a few days to roam around Northern Maine, enjoy summer, and finally see the one national park that's right at my doorstep or at least relatively close to my doorstep. Just six hours to go. I've been in the van for like five hours now, and um, the traffic has just been kind of brutal, but it is a summer weekend, so I can't be too surprised. But given that it has taken me until almost 6 p.m. to get here, I think I'm going to make a quick stop in Portland to give myself a little bit of a break. Finally here, um, it's time to reward myself. I do love shipyard, but uh, I'm gonna go get a little dessert and keep going because I have like a three hour drive left to get to the campground. A visit to Portland wouldn't be complete without a stop at Duck Fat. The original restaurant always has a massive wait, so the best move is to head to the Oxbow Brewery just a few minutes down the street, where they have a takeout window with all the same amazing food. As much as I love Portland, it was time to go because I still had three hours of driving until I would reach the campground. But the next morning, it was totally worth it. I finally made it here last night. It was super late, but um, this morning is beautiful weather and I figure it's the perfect time to show you exactly why I picked this campsite. It's just like, Every little detail is beautiful. The ground, the view, the, the details, the rocks you're standing on. It's like all amazing and I just can't wait to go and see more of it. My first stop was the Beehive, one of Acadia's most popular trails featuring steep iron-runged ladders and cliffside ocean views along the way. Okay. 
So the trail is very crowded today, you can probably tell. Um, but I wanted to come here when it was going to be the nicest weather, and that is Saturday. So um, I've just reached the latter portion of the trail. So I'm going to put this camera away and switch to the GoPro and um, try to survive. <laughs> You might be wondering how, as someone who has previously mentioned their fear of heights, I'm doing this trail so easily. And the answer is, I don't know. I think my fear really depends on the situation, and I was just very excited to do this and not scared at all. really cool um, but it was also a lot of effort and I am very sweaty so I think it's probably time to head down there and go swimming this is definitely one of the nicest beaches I have ever been to but I just know that water is super cool I'm still going in though feels like I just had the perfect day. <laughs> um, it's so beautiful, the beach was amazing, the trail was amazing. Now that the sun is setting, I'm going to head back to the campground and um, just get some rest for tomorrow. Today is obviously a lot grayer and moodier than yesterday, so I wanted to take today to check out all of the like oceanside um, cliffs and paths and stuff like that. So it's about four miles total, not super far, but I'm hoping to stop along the way and uh, get a little bit closer to the water. Ocean Path Trail is the most convenient way to see all of the unique cliffside beaches that stretch along the eastern side of the park. It features several points of interest, including what's known as Thunder Hole. So right now I'm sitting right next to Thunder Hole, which is this like inlet uh, that water gets sucked into and uh, at just the right kind of time and volume and pressure, it sounds just like thunder.
Something I really appreciate about Acadia is that it's beautiful even without the help of perfect weather. It's still spectacular, even in foggy shades of gray. So you can actually rock climb here, but uh, I've, never, I've never seen people rock climbing up Oceanside Cliffs. I didn't know that was even possible. Um, so it's really interesting to watch. I have just about reached Otter Point, which is the uh, very tip of the peninsula that this trail is on. So I guess I'm just gonna hang out, sit down for a bit, and turn right around and head back up the trail. This has gotta be the most beautiful place in the world. My apologies to literally everywhere else. <laughs> There are two foods that Maine is kind of known for. The first one being blueberries, and um, the second is lobster. And a funny thing about me is that despite growing up in New England, I really have just never enjoyed lobster. But every once in a while, I try lobster again, just to kind of see if I've warmed up to it, see if I like it. And this is just kind of a thing I do in general in life. If I don't like something, I kind of keep trying it until I do. Um, I don't force myself to like it, but I will keep trying it because I just feel like I'm opening myself up to enjoying more things, to experiencing more things. And I think I'm gonna go get a lobster roll now. Last night was the first time I've ever like really enjoyed a lobster roll. Um, so mission accomplished, I guess. This morning I'm in the southwestern part of the park at the Wonderland Trailhead. So I'm gonna go check that out. I can't believe I didn't visit Acadia sooner. Maybe it's my own bias being from New England, but I love this park. It really feels like this place just has it all, from big sweeping views to small ecological wonders. This trip to Maine has been the perfect way to finish the summer, and I'm already thinking about the next time I can come back. As nice as that was, I think it's time to give my legs a bit of a rest. And then after that, I'm hoping I can do something that I've wanted to do in a national park for a very long time. <laughs> So excited. <sighs> I have dreamed about this. Hi, Lily. Ah, this is so exciting. This 
This is amazing. It's so amazing out here and it's like around sunset. It's, it's gorgeous. There's not a ton of people out on the water. All right, let's find somewhere to kind of like pull ashore, hang out and uh, watch the sunset. It felt like everything I had done in Acadia led up to this point, and it was the perfect way to end my trip. The water was beautiful, kayaking. So my camera, my nicest, most expensive one, fell into Long Pond while resting on a rock along the shore. I was really trying not to let it ruin my trip because like I was saying, everything else was amazing otherwise. So I've had the camera inside this box of moisture absorber ever since I got back. And while it technically still works, it's not exactly usable. Mm. So that brings my time in Acadia to an end, I guess. I would have loved to stay longer, but despite the whole camera incident cutting my time short, I am also just a regular person with a full-time job, and I can only take so much time off of work. Which, I guess, is what makes me feel the need to make the most of these trips in the first place. But at the same time, I'm not just trying to check off a list, you know? Okay, maybe I am, but um, I guess I kind of mean like just driving up to the big landmarks, seeing it for five minutes and leaving. That kind of thing always feels like oh, such a waste to me. It's so like unmemorable. So I guess I try to avoid that. Besides, why do what everyone else does when you can experience things in your own personal way? Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this, please consider subscribing to get my newest videos in your feed as soon as I post them. I'm trying to make it to 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year, so it would mean a lot. And if you want to help me pay for a new camera, consider checking out my Patreon for extras like diary entries, exclusive bonus videos, and postcards from the road. In the meantime, I'll be trying to figure out where to head next. See you soon.